Hello everybody, it's Glass Half Dead here, and this week I'm doing something a little bit different. We have Nova coming up at the end of the week, and I've done a bunch of interviews where we discuss a little bit about what people want to do at Nova. So holding the interviews back to do one every Monday like I used to do doesn't really work this week. So I thought I'd give all of you a little bit of a teaser about the three interviews I'm releasing this week. First up, we've got Kill Team Stream, who's going to be the TO for SoCal Open. Then we have Michael T. Holy, the man, the myth, the legend, the, the bringer of the Azurani to Kill Team competitive. And then we have Necron Chuck. Here's a little teaser. Some of these quotes are in context. Some of them are not. See if you can guess which ones. I've heard of people playing full full 40,000 games just using the kill team rule set like there's Why not? you said socal open so i think that your recent video so i was like oh cool yeah. he used the packet <laughs> i get them very mixed up shooting weapon to be clear i made that mistake yep. i thought my played <laughs> ones were really good i was just rolling hot i have a friend who's starting a gray knight army and uh i was i told him <laughs> he was like well how did i build these and i was like all falchions in four rounds, blocking someone off, that's like a quarter of the game that they don't get to do something. Sure, and then but I it kinda, seems I easier get your point. to fix the door rules than to say, hey, all arena games are now eight rounds, I feel. It's not feasible on a grand scale. Obviously, the person that kind of brought Eldari into, into the mainstream eye... Because before you, people thought they were trash tier. When I use an example, I'm always going to talk about George Rollins because he's, in this world, he's a little bit of a celebrity. And so I don't feel bad talking about him. Turns out, I'm top of the UK score. So. Nice work. I should not be. Hugely helped by 125 is, in my opinion, Tau. And I would call them uh, the clear, strongest single faction at 125. You said that Beetle Tan isn't as good as Beerenid says. However, you do use Beetle Tan, right? Well, I used it at, at BAO, yeah. um, but I am I'm thinking Yultway. And then what I would the tangent I was going to go on was to tell you my voyage of discovery with the Startes um, in the past couple of months, and kind of how that came to be. And then I will tell you kind of how I've tabled the project. <laughs> and so I, I, I'm going to tell you something that's controversial. But that I've always kind of felt, and it's uh, it's going to be unpopular maybe for some people to hear. I think in general, Astarte's players are are just a little bit weaker than the players of most other factions. So, I think that's so Beerenid is wrong, and people that play Space Marines are we losers. And then Elites dropped, and basically Death Watch, I mean, I don't want to say that it became obsolete, but it kind of did, because Astarte's got so many options that there's not a lot of incentive to take Death Watch over them, in my opinion. Anymore. Mike, you're giving me too many options to title the episode. I played a couple games, and they went so badly that I just tabled the project. <laughs> wow, okay. The modifier to the hit roll is applied after you can uh, decide whether or not to re-roll it? Oh, yeah, I see now in the core rulebook. Rerolls. Yeah. You can never re-roll a dice more than once, and re-rolls happen before modifiers, if any, are applied. You know what? You are th oh, in that case, I stand corrected. You are right. Does correct. this make you... Uh, have you got a death mark in the list yet, Chuck? Never. Okay. I will never have a death mark. They cost too much. Their guns are too ineffective, even if you give them AP1. Oh, gosh. I TO'd a tournament, man. This isn't good. Are you taking Necrons? Uh, I, unfortunately, I don't think I will. 